Miss Cassie, can you tell from my costume where we're going to explore today? We're going to outer space. Have you ever been to outer space? Me either, that would be so silly. In outer space, that's where the sun and the moon and the stars and all the planets are. Do you wanna come with me to go explore outer space? Come on, let's go. Let's go to the moon. Let's go to the moon. Let's go get in our rocket and zoom. Let's go to the moon. Let's go fast in our rocket zoom. Super important mission for you today. Do you want to go on an important mission? Say yes, yes, yes. Your important mission today is to count how many Ellie the elephants you see in the video. She's gonna be doing lots of fun things when we are exploring space. So count how many times you see Ellie the elephant. The planet that we live on is called Earth. Did you know that? Can you say that? Earth. 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 Earth is our home. This is what Earth looks like. Isn't it beautiful? There's lots of beautiful places here on Earth. But today we're going to outer space. When we go up, up, up into outer space, we're gonna see lots of other planets, and the moon, and stars, and maybe even the sun. Are you having so much fun exploring outer space today? Make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any of our adventures. Ships? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Should we sing that again? everybody. Let's practice our alphabet by using words about outer space. 
This book is called A is for Astronaut by Smithsonian Kids. A is for Astronaut. B is for Black Hole. C is for Comet. D is for Discovery. E is for Earth. F is for Flag. G is for Galaxy. H is for Hubble Telescope. I is for International Space Station. J is for Jupiter. That's a planet. K is for Kennedy Space Center. L is for Lunar Module. M is for Mars Rover. N is for Neptune. That's another planet. O is for Orbit. P is for Parachutes. Q is for Quasar. R is for rocket. S is for sun. T is for telescope. U is for universe. V is for voyager. W is for window. X is for x-ray. Y is for Yuri Gagarin. Did you know that he was the first person ever to go into outer space? Z is for zero gravity. Look at our, all of our letters. Thank you for practicing your alphabet using words from outer space. It's time for our ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, exciting about Mr. Creed? He's a real life space explorer. He helps build spaceships that go into outer space so that we can learn more about Earth, the planets, and outer space. Mr. Creed, can we ask you some questions today about outer space? Absolutely. Great! Can you tell us what do you do to help build spaceships? I build the part of the spaceship that allows the spaceship to move, to go. Uh, it allows the spaceship to go explore the moon, space, different planets, and uh, allows it to go so we can talk to one another. If you think about uh, spacecrafts or, or the systems I work on, um, you can imagine it as a balloon that you blew up with a lot of air and you're pinching the outlet of, mm -hmm. right? Once you let go of that outlet, it, what does it do? It goes, it goes all over the place. 
that's what I built. Mm -hmm. I build the balloon and I, oh, you let it go and the spaceships move and that's how our industry moves and operates. Before we get on our rocket ship, we need to put on our spacesuit. Let's put on our pretend spacesuit. Putting on our pretend spacesuit. Put our arms in our pretend spacesuit. Zip up our pretend spacesuit. Let's put on our pretend space boots. Pretend space boots. Let's put on our pretend space gloves. Space gloves, put them on, put them on. And we can't forget, let's put on our big space helmet. Now we look like astronauts. That's a big word. Do you know what astronaut means? It means someone that goes to outer space. Say astronaut, astronaut. Great job. Let's go to the moon. Before we sing our next song, make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of our adventures. I want to be an astronaut, but my dad said I cannot. I want to go up to the stars, maybe even land on Mars. I'd like to But my dad said I cannot be what I want, an astronaut. I want to be an astronaut, but my mom said I cannot. She said it's high up near the stars, really hot there down on Mars. If in outer space you float, she said that you will need a coat. So my mom said, I cannot be what I want, an astronaut. I want to be an astronaut, my sister said, I cannot. Remember, you're afraid of heights, you get scared when they dim the lights. If you float, you might get lost, the astronauts will all get crossed. My sister said I cannot be what I want, an astronaut. I want to be an astronaut, but I'm five so I cannot. I guess I'll wait till I am old, do my chores as I am told. I'll listen to my mom and dad and love my sis, she's not that bad. To wait till then I cannot, cause I want to be an astronaut. Okay, it's time to get in our rocket ship. Wow, look how big our rocket ship is. Do you know what color our rocket ship is? Let me hear you. You're right, it's red. It's a red rocket ship. To get into our seats, we have to go up, up, up the ladder. Can you pretend to go up, up, up the ladder with me? Up the ladder, up, up, up the ladder. Good job going up the ladder. Now it's time to go find our seats. Let's look, at our, look for our seats. Oh, here we go. Here's where we're going to sit. Can you pretend to sit? Can you pretend to put on your seatbelt? We're gonna put on our rocket ship seatbelt. Click, click the rocket ship seatbelt, click. Now it's time to count down from 10. 
instead of counting up from one to 10, we're gonna count down from 10 all the way to one. Do you wanna practice with me? Okay, start with 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. When we get to zero, we're gonna say blast off. Can you say blast off? Blast off, blast off. That was so good. Okay, it's time to count down. Count down really loud. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. To get to outer space, we have to go up, up, up in our rocket ship. Can you say that with me? Up, 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 up. say up. up. Yeah, just like that, up, up, up. But then when we come back home, we have to come down, down, down. Can you do that with me? Down, down, down. Down, down, down. Yeah, that was so good. Okay, I have some construction paper shapes here and a piece of white paper. Will you help me put the shapes together on the paper to make a rocket ship? Thank you. Okay, what big shape should we start with? Yeah, let's start with the big yellow rectangle. Can you say rectangle? Rectangle. Just like that, good job. Okay, we're gonna use this as the main part of the rocket ship. What shape do you think we could use for the pointy part of top of the rocket ship? Should we use a circle? No, that doesn't look like a rocket ship. What about this big red triangle? Red triangle. Let's put that at the top of the rocket ship, just like that. Now, what do you think we can use for the legs of the rocket ship? Should we try using some more red triangles? Yeah, let's make one leg like this, and the other one going the other way, just like that. Now it's starting to look like a rocket ship. What do you think we could use this orange triangle for? That's a great idea. Let's use it to make the fire come out of the bottom of the rocket ship, like it's blasting off. What do you think we could use this blue circle for? Yeah, let's make a window so that we can see out of our rocket ship to outer space. That looks just like a rocket ship, everybody. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some tape. You could use tape or a glue stick. I'm gonna tape this down so that it all stays together. I didn't have any glue at home, so I'm just using tape, but you could use glue. I'm gonna tape all the pieces together. And can't forget the fire so we're blasting off. Okay, now that my rocket ship is all together, I'm gonna to put it on some black paper that I can decorate to look like outer space. Now I have my black paper that I'm gonna decorate with some space stickers and some stars. I have some star stickers at home, but maybe if you don't have star stickers at home, you could draw some. Or if you don't have black construction paper, you could even maybe draw stars on some white paper or maybe draw it on a launch pad so it looks like it's still on the ground. That would be okay too. There's lots of different ways you can make a pretty picture using your rocket ship. I'm gonna put some planets out there. The 
moon and the earth, the moon and the earth, and some space rocks. But you can make your picture however you want. Look at our rocket ship blasting off into space. Great job using your shapes to make your rocket. Let's look out the window and see what we can see in outer space. Can you see how small Earth looks from here? It looks so small. It looks so small. It's itty bitty tiny. Earth is so little from so far away. What else can we see while we're in outer space? Do you see all the stars? Wow, there are so many stars. Can we sing a song about the twinkling star? Let's sing it together. Mr. Creek, can you tell us why the sun and the moon shine? Think of the sun as a flashlight because it generates its own light. Yeah. And uh, think of this tennis ball as the earth, okay. okay? When the light is shining on the earth, you have half of it in light and half of it in darkness. Mm -hmm. The light side is experiencing daytime yeah. and the dark side is experiencing nighttime. Uh, and this happens once a day, right? So the moon is, shine, uh, is lit the same way uh, as the earth. And the sun is shining on the moon. The only difference is we're watching it happen from afar. So depending on where the sun is, you can get a new moon, you can get a crescent moon, or you can get a full moon. So, the sun lights the moon? The sun lights the moon. And the sun makes its own light? It makes its own light. Whoa! Now that we're in the rocket ship and we're in outer space, can you help me drive the rocket ship? Yeah. We're gonna go up, 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 and down, down, down. We're gonna go left, left, left. And right, right, right. We're gonna go left, 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 left. and right right, 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 right. Can you help me steer? Yeah. Wow, you guys are so good at driving the rocket ship. Can you help us go fast? Go fast, fast. Really, really fast. Fast. Okay, now let's go so, so, slow. You guys are good at going fast and slow. Our first stop in outer space is gonna be the moon. The moon is kind of like a big ball in the sky. It's so beautiful. A long time ago, people used to think the moon was made out of cheese. That's so silly. Although it kind of looks like cheese. The moon spins around and around the earth. It takes 27 days for the moon to go around and around the earth. Isn't that so amazing? Blasting in 
into outer space Watch my rocket go Heading for the first moon base To see the Earth below Ten, nine, eight, seven, six We will blast off soon Five, four, three, two, one We're going to the moon Floating in a rocket ship I wonder what we'll see This is an amazing trip Won't you come with me? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six Let's hum this happy tune Five, four, three, two, one We're going to everybody, let's go to the moon! My big silver rocket ship is my very special spaceship. It takes me to distant galaxies, then brings me safely back home again. Before I launch into outer space, I build my rocket ship by following the diagrams. I begin with the main body of my rocket called the fuselage. That's what this is. Okay, it says step one. Slightly bend top of the fuselage forward. Okay, so we're gonna bend this a little bit forward. Just like that. The fuselage is made of light materials such as aluminum and titanium. It has a special thermal coating for protection against extreme temperatures. Some planets can be burning hot like Mercury, while other planets like Neptune are icy cold. Step two says slightly bend top of fuselage inward. Connect the two pieces with the tabs. So now I have two pieces. Okay, I'm gonna bend this forward, just like the instructions say. And then it says connect the two pieces with the tabs, just like this. Whoa, look at that. It's starting to look a little bit like a rocket, maybe. The majority of this part of the fuselage contains the propulsion system. This is the energy source that makes my rocket ship fly. I also store extra oxygen tanks so I have plenty of air to breathe for long journeys. I never know when my intergalactic adventures will last longer than expected. Okay, now I have a third fuselage piece. Now I'm going to connect this one to my other two. Just like this. Look at that. We have our rocket ship put together. Let's keep going. Three legs support my spaceship for takeoffs and landing. When entering a planetary atmosphere, they function as wings so I can fly through the air. When soaring through the cosmos, they act as fins that can stabilize my ship so I can travel at lightning speeds. At a, low, at a slower pace, they help my ship glide so I can admire the many colors of the new solar systems. Look, here are the wings. Here are these legs. Okay, the instructions say, remove legs and insert tabs into slots at the bottom. See how there's these slots here? I'm gonna take these tabs and I'm gonna put them into the slots and push up so that they stay. We're gonna do that three times. Look, it's starting to look a whole lot like a rocket ship. Uh-oh. We need to do one more leg. Look at that, wow. The cockpit is the main command center of my rocket ship. It is where I control everything on my spaceship, like the front radar and side thrusters. From my seat, I have easy access to my control panels, which house the communication and navigation systems, computers, flight charts, and maps, and my trusty steering wheel. Okay, now, I'm going to put these last few pieces up here at the top.
There we go. Okay, here's the cockpit. Whoa, look at that. And these are the propulsion systems. Wow. Look at our rocket ship. Do you think we're ready to go to outer space? Hooray! Our rocket ship is complete and ready to fly. Now we're going to place it on the launch pad and conduct our final systems check. Take a long breath because we're about to go to outer space. Can you count from 10 all the way to 1 so we can blast off? Let's get our launch pad set up. Let's count from 10. 10, 9, 8, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Great job building our rocket ship together, everybody. Okay, we made it to the moon in our handy dandy rocket ship. Now that we're on the moon, it's important that we know a few things. The first thing we need to know is our letter of the day. Our letter of the day today is R. R sounds like R. Do you know why our letter of the day today is R? Because we took our rocket ship to get here on the moon. Our letter of the day today is R. The next thing we need to know is our number of the day. Our number of the day today is 10. Do you remember when we counted down from 10 to blast off? Let's try to count up to 10. Let's start at one and go all the way to 10. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Great job counting. Mr. Creed, do planets stay still in the sky or do they move? Uh, planets move. So you have the sun in the center, and then planets will orbit around the sun at different distances. What does orbit mean? An orbit is the path that a planet travels, and it's the same path year over year due to gravity. So one full rotation of a planet around the sun is known as a year. Oh, so is that, so every time Earth moves around the sun, that's a whole year? It it's takes a whole, whole year for Earth to move all the way around the sun? Correct, one whole year. Whoa, that's so cool. Bye bye moon. That was so amazing getting to visit the moon. Can you say bye bye moon, bye bye moon. We'll see you next time. Now where should we go? Should we try and visit another planet? Let's head to the planet Mars. We're gonna count to three and yell zoom so we can go to Mars. One, two, three, zoom! Did you see Mars? What color is Mars? That's right, it's red, just like our rocket ship. Red, Mars is red. Mars is a planet like Earth. Mars has lots of big hills and mountains including the biggest mountain in the whole solar system. And did you know that that big mountain is a volcano? That's so cool! Will you help me color this rocket ship? Thank you! I think I'm gonna start by coloring it red. I'm gonna color the top here red. I like to trace the outside before I color the inside, but you can color however you want. Dad, you can speed ramp this. 
Like it doesn't need to be super long. Okay, okay, I'm gonna do the top of my rocket ship and the wings down at the bottom. I'm gonna do those red too. Oops, I went a little bit outside the line, but that's okay. Sometimes that happens when you're making art. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to color the rest of my rocket ship blue. My rocket ship is going to be red and blue. But your rocket ship can be whatever color you want. Look, we're almost done. Wow, look at that. Our rocket ship is blue and red. We colored a blue and red rocket ship. That was so much fun to do together. What color are these planets? What about this one? Yeah, it is blue. What about this one? What color is this planet? Yeah, it's red. What about this one? This one's orange. Can you say orange? Orange. 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 What color do you think this planet is? Yeah, it's pink. 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 It's a pink planet. What about this planet? Amazing. Yeah, it is. It's a white planet. White. 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 Great job. What color is Earth? Earth is two colors. Earth is blue and green. Blue and green. Green, blue, blue, green. Earth is blue and green. Okay, it's time to say goodbye to Mars. Bye, Mars. Let's look for our next planet. Looking for our next planet. Oh, look, it's Jupiter. Jupiter is so big. It's actually the biggest planet in our solar system. Did you know that Earth has one moon, but Jupiter has 80? Isn't that amazing? Let's go to the moon. Let's go to the moon. Let's go get your help. Can you tell me which planet is bigger? Yeah. Is this planet bigger or this planet? 
Yeah, this planet's bigger. Is this planet bigger? Or is this planet bigger? Yeah, this one's bigger. Is this planet bigger? Yeah, this one's bigger, you're right. Which planet is bigger? This one or this one? Yeah, it's this one. Let's try one more. Is this planet bigger or is this one bigger? Yeah, this one's bigger. Thank you so much for your help. Mr. Creed, can you tell us about the stars? Sure. Stars are wonderful and unique because they're, they're so powerful. They're these balls of gas that are at such high pressures and mixing around that they're giving off all of this energy and light that we feel here on the Earth. Everyone is aware of the closest star to us, which is our sun, which... The sun that's is right. a star? That's right. During the day, wow. we feel the sun's heat and we see the sun's light, and at nighttime, we are colder because of it. So the sun is a star, and because it's a star, it helps us stay warm? That's right. Because it is. it's really close to us? That's right. Did you know that in order to study outer space, scientists use a special tool called a telescope. It helps them see all the things that are very far away in outer space. Let's make a pretend telescope so we can practice looking for things far away in outer space. You're gonna need a cardboard roll, some construction paper, you can use any color that you want, some tape, and maybe some stickers or crayons so that you can decorate your telescope. I chose black construction paper because it looks like outer space. Okay, so to make your telescope, wrap your construction paper around your cardboard roll, just like this. You can use your piece of tape to hold your construction paper in place. There, look at that. Now I'm going to decorate my construction paper with space stickers to make it look like outer space. I'm gonna choose maybe some planets Here's one of, here's a picture of Earth. And some of the other planets like Jupiter and Saturn. Ooh, and maybe some stars. Ooh, I'll even put a, Oopsies, I, I tore that one. I'll use this one. I'm gonna put a rocket ship on one. And some more stars. Ooh, these are some different stars. This star is green. Here's a shooting star. Here's a comet. You can decorate it however you want. You can even use some markers or crayons. Some space rocks. When you're all done decorating it, then you can practice looking through the hole and seeing what you can see on the other side. Ooh, look, I see some space stickers.
great job making your pretend telescope. Oh no, look, asteroids are coming right at our rocket ship. Asteroids are big space rocks. Can you help me move the rocket ship out of the way of the asteroids? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, you're gonna tell me to stop or to go. Can you practice? Stop. Stop. When you say stop, I'm gonna stop the rocket ship. When you say go, I'm gonna move the rocket ship. Okay? Yeah. Let's go. Go. Driving the rocket ship. Stop. Stop. Is it safe to go? Go. Go. Stop. Stop. Go. Go. Stop. Stop. Go. go. Oh. Thank you. We moved the rocket ship out of the way of the asteroids. Great job, everyone. That was great teamwork. Now that we're out of the way of the asteroids, we can fly past some of the other planets. Look, it's Saturn. Do you see Saturn and the big rings around Saturn? Isn't that beautiful? Can you wave, hi Saturn, hi Saturn? Let's keep going to see the other planets. Oh look, there's Neptune and Uranus. Can you wave hi? Hi planets, hi planets. Let's keep going. That brings us all the way to Pluto. When I was younger, Pluto was a planet. But a few years ago, some scientists said, it's not a planet anymore. I think Pluto might be kind of sad about that. is a big ball of gas or rock that is traveling around our sun. Uh, we have eight official ones. We also have one named Pluto. Oh, do you have a favorite planet? Yes. What's my, your favorite planet? My favorite planet is Venus uh, for how unique it is. It's spinning the opposite way of the Earth, which is unique. It has the most volcanoes out of any of our planets. Whoa, it has volcanoes? It has tons of volcanoes. My favorite planet is Pluto, but I hear it's not a planet anymore. Is that true? Officially, yes. Unofficially, it's a planet for me as well. I like Pluto. I think Pluto's pretty sad that it's not a planet anymore. It just wants to be one of the group. What we have here is a lot of ingredients and a big saucepan. We're gonna try to make some galaxy Play-Doh. We're gonna start with one and a half cups of flour. Put that all in our saucepan. Then we need one cup of salt. One and a half cups of water. Glug, 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 glug. 
one and a half tablespoons of vegetable oil. and one and a half tablespoons of cream of tartar. With all of that in our big saucepan, we're gonna get a grown up to help us with putting it on the stove. We're gonna mix all of our ingredients on the stove until it sort of seems like Play-Doh. But remember, ask your grown up to do this part. Now that our Play-Doh is completely cool, I put it into three different bowls because we're gonna make three different colors to make our galaxy. In my first Play-Doh, I'm gonna use blue because blue kind of looks like the sky. So I'm gonna just fold one of those. I'm just gonna fold and keep folding until the blue is the whole color of my Play-Doh. And sort of smush it and roll it around. It's a little bit messy. And if you want it to be a little bit darker, you can add more food coloring. I'm gonna add a little bit more blue because I want the whole blob of Play-Doh to be super, super blue. There's my blue. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands so that I don't get any blue dye on my other colors. For this next one, I'm gonna try to make purple. So I'm gonna use some blue, and then I'm also gonna use some red. And that should hopefully help us make some purple. Just like we did with the blue, we're gonna fold, fold this over, mix it, mix it, smoosh it all together. This looks more like a little space gray, but that's okay, because we're making outer space. So now we've got space gray and some blue. This one, we're just gonna do a little bit of red. And hopefully that makes a pretty sky color. We're gonna put some green and some blue in here and make like a space black. So we'll have blue and space gray and black. So we want this to be really dark. Okay, that made a really pretty sort of green turquoise color. That's really cool. I'm gonna go wash my hands again. We have three different color Play-Dohs now. So to make our galaxy Play-Doh, we're going to mix all three colors. So I'm gonna take just a little bit from each one. Cause I can, I can save this other Play-Doh for later. I'm gonna just put those to the side. Take a little bit of my space gray. together just like that and then I'm gonna do the fun part I'm gonna add some stars and some glitter to make it look like the galaxy I'm gonna choose some blue glitter I think here's my blue glitter just a little bit of that. Okay, and now I'm just gonna smush it all together and just keep folding it like this until you start to see 
the glitter. And there's our galaxy Play-Doh. We did it, everybody. Mr. Creed, can you tell us why you wanted to be a space explorer and why you became a space scientist? Sure. Uh, when I was a kid, my favorite superhero was Superman. I loved the fact that he could fly, he was super strong, and he was from a different planet. Uh, so I also wanted to fly, and forever that was my dream. Uh, turns out humans have a hard time flying on their own, so I, I did the next best thing. I, I built things that could fly, that could explore and go to uh, eventually other planets, possibly back to Krypton where Superman is from. Okay. Uh, so that was what instilled uh, the love of space and flying um, in me, as well as a, a curiosity of, of questioning what was out there. You, I grew up in a very rural area and I saw stars every night. And uh, it always made me curious to think what was out there and, and what have we seen and what have we not seen. So being a part of a, a group of people that are curious and want to explore has been a, a very wonderful gift. Mr. Creed, do you think you could take us to outer space? Maybe one day. That would be so cool. Can you say thank you to Mr. Creed? Say thank you. Thank you. Say bye, Mr. Creed. Bye, Mr. Creed. Bye. Hopefully that song cheered you up, Pluto. Bye bye, Pluto. It's time for us to head back to Earth. Can we count to three and say zoom one more time? One, two, three. Zoom! Oh look, we made it all the way back to Earth. Great job on our outer space adventure today, everybody. Can we take off our space helmet? Take off your space helmet. Take off your space suit. We gotta unzip our space suit. Take off our space suit. Take off our space boots. Now we're back on Earth. I had so much fun with you on our outer space adventure today. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any of our adventures. I'll see you next time. Bye.